he would say that he's a, he's a sound engineer, a technician, and he is at the top of his, his craft. I mean, he's a genius. Um, but he forces you to be the producer. Um, and that was a, a role that I wasn't sure I ever wanted to undertake. Um, but halfway through the record, uh, the, the guys in the band, especially uh, uh, Tucker, who are a drummer, he was like, you know that you're, you're producing this record, right? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I guess I am. Yeah, I am. Uh, so uh, it, it was it's e it was an easier job having someone that was so um, on top of their game, you know, at at the helm, uh, at the at the board, and any uh, requests that I made or suggestions that I made were we able to be done on the spot, and that, that's really helpful. I do, I do have. A, it, it's hard though, like because like it's like saying like, oh, do you have a favorite kid? Which I don't. <laughs> but uh, but for this one, you know, there's there's one track that uh, that's just. I don't know, it's more fun sometimes to play than others. Uh, it's a track called Medicine Square Garden. And uh, it was one of those uh, songs where I had this idea in my head and, and, and it seemed too crazy to attempt. Uh, I knew that I, it was hard to, it was like going to be hard to explain to people like how to play this song. I just knew that I heard it and I heard it was great. Uh, but I, I, had, I had to bring it out of my head and into the real life. So uh, it was one of those things where I was like, all right, this is the, this is the gauge. Um, if we can nail this and, and then that means this is the right band and we can do anything. Uh, and if we don't, that's fine. We're still pretty good, but, uh, we're not the best. And, um, it was one of those things where it was just like, oh my God, like they got it. And, and it became my favorite song. Very rarely, <laughs> like it is a miracle that you're able to, uh, make music in your basement with your friends and, uh, have other people hear it and enjoy it. Like that's a miracle in itself. To, to do that on such a grand scale uh, for 12 plus years and like make such an impact uh, on the world and, and have it continuously still find a new audience is unbelievable. Um, that's probably, that's like a double miracle, I guess. <laughs> and then the triple miracle is to be able to like do it again in another project and, and, and be able to, to still be able to tour and, and write songs and, uh, and have people enjoy it all over the world. That's unbelievable, but I, I mean, there's so many instances in my life, you know, with my cam and, and, and this project, uh, you know, that I've gotten to do things that I've always wanted to do. Like, like, you know, like those bucket list things that you write down, like on a piece of paper when you're like 11 years old, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I got up on stage in front of 100 plus thousand people and played with Brian May? Like, yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> like, and then you write it down and then you, that never happens. But it, that happened, you know, um, to, to, to get to, you know, uh, tour through, through countries that uh, I didn't even uh, know I would, I would breathe the same air as, as those people, the people that uh, maybe don't speak even English to know the lyrics that, you know, uh, you wrote in your room and have them sing back to you like, ah. Uh, you know, to, to be on Saturday Night Live, to, to do all these amazing things. Yeah, there's there's some really great memories out there. Some of the, the best, though, are, are, are the ones, like, uh, that just happened just recently. Uh, <laughs> my, my daughter uh, wrote this song. It's called Best Friends Forever. And it started as this thing where she would use it to taunt her siblings. <laughs> and, uh, and I decided to maybe try to make a positive of it and like really write like the song like properly and, and, and see like, you know, like show her like, you know, like, Hey, like if you put your mind to this, like you could do this if this is what something you want to do. Cause you, you know, you're talented and you're smart and creative. Uh, and so we wrote the song together and I ended up recording it. And, uh, just recently we, we played a show, uh, in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil and, uh, and 800 kids in the crowd sold out show. Like we're singing along to her song and I got a video of it and showed her like when she was home, she's like, wow, she's like, that's amazing. I have my, my grandmother's portraits on my arms and I have uh, my grandfather on my shoulder. Uh, so those, those really, really mean a lot to me. You know, I have my wife's name on my hand and uh, my, my kids' initials on my other hand. So those are, you know, the, the number ones. But I, as far as like aesthetically, like I tend to like the ones that are maybe were done in a really, really dingy uh, backstage room, <laughs> you know, that uh, maybe uh, have a couple of blowouts and aren't totally perfect. Like I like those a lot. <laughs>